Alright, this is Games Master 35, uh, second episode of my little let's play of Deadly Sin 2. Um, last time, um, Siegfried was having a little trouble with the, um, with the regent. I, I don't know exactly how this stuff works, but Siegfried seems like he would be of adult age to me. Um, but, apparently, um, Siegfried's father has gone missing. And presumed dead by almost everybody but Siegfried. Um, but Siegfried's no fool. Um, he knows that his head may very well be on the chopping block. And has, um, has told us about uh, ace in a hole. A young lady by the name of Ruby who who is one of the children that his lecherous father has sired you know with with women that were not the queen. <laughs> so he sent us to go ahead and then try and find Ruby in a place called Hibernus Cove. Anyway but first we're gonna have to get outfitted. Which means we're going to have to find a town. Well, we're in town, but you know what I mean. We're going to have to find some shops. Let's see. Uh, now, this, um, this Let's Play will be done as we go basically so I have no idea what we'll find so it's gonna be a surprise to me just as it's gonna be a surprise to you all right got a miracle herb medical herb and more gold always comes in handy All right. I'm gonna try to um, do this in 20 minute increments because um, well if you're if you take longer than that you stand a chance of losing all the footage that you um <laughs> that you took uh, I found that out the hard way The Empire holds on to its territory through fair rule, free trade, democratically elected consuls to represent the people, and great personal liberty. Our military power is raised, is used only against foreign threats. The Arcadius Empire is enormous. Our influence and control is limited in the far reaches of the known world. But most of the civilized world is an imperial Archaeus province, loyal to Viridia. Ah, uh, good enough. Ah, uh, looks like something important. The council is in deliberation. Please leave the premises. Okay. I'm not going against that many soldiers. out the to town. Carrion! Hey, it's been a while. Only a couple of days, silly. I heard you had important business at the Imperial Palace. Don't tell me you're going to be busy again this week. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I will be. Never a dull moment in the army. I see. Well, whatever it is, come back safely, Carrion. Are you going as well, Sir Merrick? <laughs> yeah, and don't worry. I'll keep your little Carrion safe. <laughs> I'll see you when you get back. Take care, Carrion. I will. 
Good for you, big guy. She's a sweetheart. Not my type, though. Too tall. Makes me look scrawny. Yeah, well, I guess I should count myself lucky that you will spare her your advances, right? <laughs> you better believe it. Love the math in this guy does. <laughs> Do I enjoy my job? <laughs> it could be worse. I'd rather, I'd rather admire the sheer amount of power that the above building represents. It's the center of the world. Now, who is this guy? The Imperial military is separated into the regular army, the airship forces, and the newly created Magi army. Really, it's the airships that are the true power of the Empire since nothing can stop them except, well, no fuel. Well, yeah, that's a pretty big weakness. Alright. Uh, new to these parks? Attend Viridia University right here for the beginner's guide to the world. We've got battle tutorials and everything. Alright, I'm not too sure whether I should bother with the tutorial section. But, let's see. Alright, up, uh, up ahead of you because I already went through this once. It's this guy right here who does a, a nice little battle tutorial. And I might do this as a separate um as a separate video. Just to be on the complete side, you know. This is a monster node. These crystals will be in any dangerous area where you may encounter enemy monsters. You can turn off the monsters by talking to the monster node, which will make the crystal gray. We'll also award you with a shard, which you can use to gain skill points. Note that you can turn the crystal back on if you wish to continue fighting monsters in that area. The crystal will turn blue, but turning it back off will no longer award you with a monster node shard, obviously. See? Just like that. Alright, we can give this to Carrion or Merrick, and I'm going to choose Carrion. Alright. All right. This is a rest point. These will be found in dangerous areas. By walking on them, you are given the option of using a tent if you have one, which will completely restore your party's health. Note, saving the game can be done anywhere the menu is accessible. I will teach you about equipment, weight, speed, and build. Most equipment has weight. The heavier the gear, the higher the weight, which adds to your equipment weight total. Now every character has build. This is a static parameter that determines body size, constitution, and how much he or she can carry without becoming weighed down. If your equipment weight is higher than your build, your speed, which determines how often a combatant gets a turn in battle, will go down due to over encumbrance. Build can only be changed by using seals of constitution. It does not grow by leveling up. I will teach you about threat. Threat is how much the enemies hate you and want to target you with their single target attacks. A character gains threat by dealing damage, healing, or using threat skills like taunt. A sturdy character with heavy armor and high HP will want to draw attacks away from weaker allies, so they will want to have high threat at all times, while frail characters should try to keep their threat low. So 
So you got almost an MMO type feel to this thing, in some respects anyway. I will teach you about skill points and the skill menu. Skill points are acquired every time a character gains a level, uses a monster node, or completes a quest. By the way, Carrie and Merrick start out with three skill points each. Don't forget to use them. Every special ability is acquired by spending your skill points. Access the main menu and select skill menu in order to spend your points on special attacks, passive abilities, magic spells, and so on. Each skill can be upgraded. It starts at level 1 and can be upgraded all the way to level 5, which improves the effect of the skill. The upgrades become more and more expensive to buy, however, as they increase in level. Each character has 9 active and 3 passive skills. The active skills will always show up in battle, but the passive ones will not. However, they will always be in effect. I will teach you about blocking, evasion, critical, and what they do. Block is blocking physical attacks with a shield or by parrying. Block chance determines your chance to block, and block rate determines how much damage is mitigated when blocking. Block chance changes based on your equipment. As shields and parrying weapons get better in, in quality, block chances increase. Oh, spelling error. Block rate is determined by your strength, or STR, but it does not take into account the strength gained from your weapon, only your natural strength, and that gained from armor and accessories. Evasion, or EVA, is your chance to dodge enemy physical attacks. It is mostly derived from your agility, or AGI, but some passive skills and equipment grant direct evasion bonuses. Critical is your chance to deliver a crushing blow that does double damage. It is mostly derived from AGI as well, but like evasion, passives and equipment sometimes have direct critical or crit bonuses. I will teach you about augments. Weapons, shields, helms, body and arm equipment can all be augmented which grants that piece of equipment special properties. You can augment equipment by using the Augment menu, which is accessed from the main menu. There are various items that can be used to augment equipment. Some can be bought, but some are more powerful and rare and found in chests. Each item can only have one augment at a time. An item can be re-augmented, but the original augment item will be destroyed. Augments cannot be removed either. Note that accessories cannot be augmented. If you find an augment that cannot be sold, it is a totally unique augment, only one in the world, so make sure it goes to good use. Red delicious apple. Medical herb. any time even in battle and will restore a percentage of your total health there are several other items such as this in the game this chest contains a red delicious apple this tasty food item is cheap and easy to carry around and restores your health when used however it cannot be used in battle grilled salmon works similarly crystal water and other drinks have the same effect but on MP instead of HP yeah, yeah. I will teach you about weapons and shields. One-handed weapons allow a shield or wand to be equipped. When using a shield, a character can block, which restore reduces damage taken. When a two-handed weapon is equipped, all attacks and physical special skills get a plus 50% bonus damage bonus. And last guy, I will teach you about quests. Access the quest menu from the main menu. This will display all quests in progress and completed. Mandatory quests are listed with a red icon 
optional quests are listed with a blue icon. Quests will have a variety of rewards from money to experience to skill points to special equipment. Mandatory quests will automatically be given to you as the story proceeds. Optional quests are acquired by talking to someone with a floating <laughs> exclamation point above them. Note, when traveling around on the world map, you have a mini-map. This will show white, red, and blue dots to represent locations. White are cities, red are mandatory quest locations, and blue are optional quest locations. Alright, so that's a quick rundown. The battle tutorial takes a little longer, so I'm not going through with that right now. In fact, it's getting close to the, um, to the mark. So I'm going to cut it off at this point and then come back from this exact same location. Hopefully get all our equipment and everything done in that one turn. And then carry on from there. Alright, um, this has been Games Master 35 just going through the basics with you. And I'm signing off.